Welcome to the Transparent Effects Academy. What we will be doing in this video is performing a full live analysis in the market on a specific pair, both from a technical and in order flow perspective to see which is the best opportunity that we can be looking for on the specific pair on which we will be performing this analysis from a swing trading perspective. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the trading view platform and I share free education and analysis on all my platforms every single day. So I really suggest you subscribe so you won't miss out on all this free education and I will see you in the video. Today, what I want to do is give you a full update on the situation that currently we have on NZD USD because it is a very interesting pair for a trading opportunity very soon. So I definitely want to speak about it. And as usual, I will keep the analysis very educational so that you will understand exactly what you have to be looking for when you're analyzing the market with your own trading strategy and trading plan. And obviously this will immediately make you a better trader. So first we will be looking at the technicals from the monthly, the weekly and the daily. We will also check what we have from an order flow perspective to see what the biggest banks and institutions are currently doing on the pair. So we will be obviously checking the COT data for NZD USD. And then I will be showing you on the four hour time frame what kind of opportunity we can be looking for on this pair. So starting from the monthly, what do we have? Now on the monthly time frame, clearly we have a market that currently is testing a very strong supply area. Why is this a very strong supply? Because first of all, the market had hit this area here and started all this huge meltdown to the downside. And why did the market start this move to the downside exactly from here? Because at this level, the market had found a strong supply and currently this level will be acting again as strong supply. So we have good probabilities to see the market from here give us a move to the downside. So immediately from a structure perspective, it is clear that we want to see the market to give us a move to the downside. What we can also see is that from a pattern perspective, again, from here, we want to see the move to the downside. If you're asking yourself why, the answer is very simple. You have a market that has created an impulse to the downside, retracement, lower low, and equal high. Impulse, correction, lower low, and equal high. After you see a market make and create a move like this, you want to see the market give you a move to the downside. If you're asking yourself why is this, is because you want to see the market make a move to the downside for the completion of this inverted head and shoulders. So from here, you want to see a wave to the downside to complete this inverted head and shoulders and then start a move to the upside. However, it is pretty clear that in order to create the right shoulder, the market needs to create a wave to the downside from here. So to print some monthly bearish candles. Going down on the weekly, what do we have? Now on the weekly time frame, situation is very clear. From here, we wanted to see a retracement and now the market has created the continuation to the upside for the creation of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. And currently the market has created a higher high that is testing the supply that we have on the monthly. In fact, going down the daily time frame, we can also see that in creating this move to the upside, the market has also created a bearish pattern. Why has the market created a bearish pattern? Because the market has created this overextended W formation. And we had already spoken about NZDUSD a few days ago, explaining why from here we would like to see the market give us a move to the downside. However, as I will now show you, we have a new structure that we have to take into account. And I will now speak also about that new structure. But first, let's explain why the market created this move to the upside, because it is connected also to a previous video that I did. First of all, when is the first time that we spoke about NZDUSD? It was after the market had created this impulse and this correction. From here, for a long series of reasons, we said that we definitely wanted to see the market create the continuation to the downside. And that is exactly what the market did. Then again, we spoke about NZDUSD after the market had created this impulse and this correction. And we said again, from here, we want to see the market create another impulse to the downside. And that is exactly what the market did. And I will link both this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check them out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze 
or speak about in the next videos. And after that, why this move to the upside makes a lot of sense, because the market had created five waves to the downside. And after five waves, you want to see the market shift the trend and create a higher high if the five waves are to the downside, like in this case. So one, two, three, four, and five. After that, you want to see the market make a move to the upside and create a higher high, which is exactly what the market did in this case. In fact, the market has created this overextended W formation in making this move to the upside, which is a bearish pattern. In fact, after the market creates an overextended W formation, you want to see the market give you a move to the downside to test the previous resistance, which is now turned support. So immediately from analyzing the market from a technical perspective, we have our downside target, which is this previous resistance, not on support. We know that we are inside of monthly supply from which we expect the market to give us a move to the downside. So from here, it is pretty clear that we would like to see the market give us this move to the downside. However, this is exactly what we had identified in our previous analysis. What changed? Now, what changed is a very simple concept. In creating this move to the upside, the market created one candle which is not related to this move to the upside, which is exactly this red candle here. And this red candle is previous resistance, which is now turned support at this level. So currently, even though from the monthly, weekly and daily, we want to see the market give us the move to the downside, we must realize that currently, we have daily support in this area. And obviously, until the market will be above this daily support, from a technical and daily closing perspective, we cannot be looking for any shorts because we would be shorting at a daily support level. So until the market will remain above this zone, the market can and should continue to the upside. So we obviously will not be looking for any shorts until we will remain above this level. So how we will be approaching a situation in which from the monthly, the weekly and the daily, we want to see the market go down. However, we still have daily support. Well, before I show you how we will be approaching this situation with students, let's first go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what the biggest banks and institutions are currently doing in the market. Now, if we check the data, what we can see, we can see that first of all, if we check the data for the NZD, we are already checking NZD USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you check the data for the NZD, it's already NZD USD. And what we can see, we can see that with the last report, institutions closed 700 longs. So definitely they are not interested in this move to the upside, at least at the moment, because in the past, we could clearly see that with the previous report, they had added 2.6K longs and closed 1.3K shorts. And in fact, the move to the upside was very sharp because institutions were adding longs and closing shorts. And in fact, the, the market reacted to this perfectly because obviously they control the market. And now what we can see, we can see that they haven't added more longs. Now, obviously net positions, yes, they did increase because they closed more shorts than longs. So definitely it is still bullish. And we already know that we know that from a technical perspective, we still have support here. However, they're not interested in the long that much. So there is the possibility to see a retracement. However, it is important to say, as we just said, that we still have daily support. So the way in which we have to approach this is as usual being reactive and not predictive. So if the market before breaking the zone to the downside, okay, will continue to the upside, we're obviously not interested in the move and we have to adapt to the new market structure. And I will show you this in an update. However, if the market will break below this structure from a daily closing perspective. So a red candle will close below the structure. At that point, all this previous support here will be turned resistance at this area. And after the break on the retest of the structure, what we will be doing with students on the retest, as usual, we will be monitoring price action on the four hour time frame because the monthly, weekly and daily are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market. But the best time frame for entry is the four hours. So if the market will break on the retest inside of this area with students, we will be monitoring price action from a four hour perspective, waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities 
for the move to the downside and completion of this impulse, correction and impulse pattern to the downside. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find the link in the description. It's a very complete program. You first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies, and then you trade them live with me each and every day. In fact, every day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply these strategies with entry, stop, and take profit as well as having me personally answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in the program.